hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am finally finally putting out a full body workout for you guys um i get a lot of requests for full body workouts and funnily enough i actually do i make sure to do one full body workout per week but i just like haven't filmed it for some reason but i'm finally coming at you with one today anyways it's just like i think i did like six exercises i usually keep it to like six seven exercises um and i move pretty quickly um the full workout will be listed in the description but i move pretty quickly throughout the workout i usually only rest for max a minute so yeah it's gonna keep your heart rate up gonna burn a lot of calories at the same time it's also going to build muscle so i like full body workouts just for that reason and i like leaving the gym feeling like i'm sweaty and i worked my ass off so anyways so we filmed this video when we were in LA, so like two weeks ago. I wanted to do, because my boyfriend was doing chest that day, and his chest workouts really don't take that long, so I wanted to do a full body workout just because it, then we could leave the gym at like around the same time. So these full body workouts don't usually take as long as my regular lifts do, just because I am moving so quickly. Um, yeah, we filmed this workout when we were at UFC Gym, which is in Los Angeles. I actually think there's like a couple locations, but it was this one UFC Gym in Los Angeles that we wanted to check out. So they had like a whole bunch, it was actually a perfect gym for full body because they had like a whole bunch of stuff and a whole bunch of space that you could do this kind of stuff in. I tried a couple new exercises that I haven't tried before, but I actually really liked. So those are going to be in this video and anyways i'm done blabbing i'm just going to get into the workout so first exercise that i did i did kind of like a snatch that you would jesus christ stop that i guess you would do in i think it's crossfit but i did it with a dumbbell instead so um this exercise is going to work your front delts middle delts rear delts abs hamstrings quads and glutes all in one so what i did is i did the same arm 12 times and then i switched directly um immediately and did the other arm 12 times what you want to do is basically just take a dumbbell and put your feet out into like more of a sumo squat position squat down with the dumbbell in between your legs and then keeping the dumbbell close to your body you want to pull it up and then flick your wrist and push up so yeah, that was actually, it's actually like really hard, like way harder than you would think. By the time I was done with one arm, I was like, I have to keep going because even though your shoulders are tired, it's like your whole body gets tired at the same time. So yeah, it's a, like probably one of my favorite exercises. I'm actually doing full body today again. Um, and I think I'm going to do that in my full body workout today. So then the next exercise that I did, I kind of like randomly came up with just because I saw that they had a ladder there and my gym at home doesn't have ladders. So I just... So this is also going to work your shoulders, it's also going to work your abs, your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads. So it's almost like the same muscle groups as the first exercise, but it's just 10 times harder on your legs because I couldn't even, like I tried to go one way down the ladder and then the next way down the ladder or back and I just, I couldn't do it, like my legs just burned out. So I'm holding a 16 pound sand ball above my head and I'm basically doing like jumping in and out of the ladder rungs with my legs and then when I come out I'm doing a squat jumping coming back in putting my legs out and then doing another squat so it's basically like a whole bunch of jump squats but it's way harder because you have to stabilize a weight above your head so you could do this with dumbbells you could do this with kettlebells you could do this with barbells anything like that but they had a sandball there and I just saw the sandball and I decided to use that and then the next exercise I actually have never done before I we don't have these I think they're called Bulgarian bags we don't have them at my gym but I wanted to do like a good morning squat variation with them the weight wasn't heavy enough for me to really feel like I was getting a good workout in if I was just doing a regular squat so what I did was just pair a good morning which is where you um, have the weight on your back and then you hinge at your hips you come forward only using your hamstrings so you don't want to I know it's hard because you're moving your back kind of but you want to mostly just move at your hips so that your hamstrings are doing all the work um so i just did a good morning pulling yourself back up with your hamstrings and then instead of doing a regular squat i did a jump squat which this was really hard um the good mornings i felt the most of my hamstrings and then the jump squats just like tired me out cardio wise like 
at the end usually good mornings wouldn't make me breathe heavy like when I'm done with them but I was like breathing super heavy at the end of each set for this one just because the jump squats just killed me this next exercise is a variation of a row but you're gonna want to go quite a bit lighter in weight than you would if you were doing a regular row just because I'm doing it like a plank variation so I have one arm on the bench in front of me and then my feet out behind me so you're having to stabilize your abs and work your back at the same time so you're just not gonna be able to go as heavy I mean if unless you have like really strong core which I really don't so I could go as heavy but basically just performing a row but keeping yourself in a plank position so it's gonna work your abs and your back or your lats at the same time so and then for the last two exercises I did both exercises with kettlebells which you can also use a dumbbell for if you don't have kettlebells but I just find kettlebells easier if I do have access to them just because the handles are easier to grab for me first exercise is a burpee type thing into an upright row so it is scary at first like when you first burpee but that's just your mind telling you you can't do it or that you're gonna fall because like as soon as you get into it like I've only okay I have <laughs> fallen once doing this exercise but that was after after I did like a superset with push-ups and so my arms are super weak but when you do this exercise like if you focus on keeping your core stabilized and your arms uh, and your triceps engaged like you'll be totally fine so you just go into like a burpee position with the kettlebell and then you jump back up keeping your feet on the sides of the kettlebell and then do an upright row so this is actually going to work your front delts your abs and your quads so it is a killer exercise i only did 12 and i was like dead at the end of it so yeah i just did 12 reps i think the weight was like 25 pounds or something like that maybe a little bit more but yeah it was killer and then for the last exercise i did a another like burpee kettlebell variation but this one is like suitcase burpees so it's called suitcase because you're holding the weight only on one side like you would if you were holding a suitcase so i did a burpee on one side and then we get back up pick up the kettlebell and from like a kind of like a squat position place it back down and then jump over to the other side do another burpee and then pick the kettlebell up on the other side so what this variation does is even though it doesn't look like it, it's actually working your abs because when you have weight on one side and not on the other, your body has to like stabilize to keep yourself straight. So I actually felt quite a bit of burn on my obliques, which was awesome because most ab exercises I do are just for my like rectus abdominis and not my obliques. So yeah, I felt quite a bit of burn there, which is cool. Um, and then it's also hard because you're coming up from like a squat position. So you're also working your legs at the same time and your arms because you're doing a burpee so you can also add a push-up in here if you are more advanced or well I can do a push-up but like I was dead at this point so if you want to do a push-up in between you can but I, I wasn't gonna do that um, but yeah this was like a really hard workout when I was super hungry so then I got to eat more food <laughs> when we did our sheet day which is awesome so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this workout um, Hopefully the explanations made sense. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.